Hello everyone, we're all good. Big shout out to KRCT Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Not and podcast with myself, Billy Moore. The first place me and our judders going to go to is Birmingham. Is you all right with some mushy pies, mate? Oh, head to the bowl ring. Take a little tour around the city. Find out where the roughest and toughest areas are. Some of the nicest areas either. Auntie that lived in Chelmsley Wood before she passed away. And we used to go up all the time. Get off a bus on Box Road and go to a little a little flat and spend a couple of days there up in, up in Brum. During the school holidays. So I know the area quite well because, you know, we used to just venture out into the city and the surrounding areas. So yeah, it'll be a bit of fun. A little road trip, looking forward to it. Ah, Terry's all right. He's, he's in love. <laughs> Again, this one's the one. Built the one. It's always the one, isn't it? What I mean, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye or gets arrested. <laughs> You'll probably ring me up in a minute and go, What are you saying there on the YouTube, lad? But yeah, I'm glad he's doing well. I'm thinking this is his year. You know, he hasn't drank. You know, I couldn't even get him in the car at one point without having to stop at an off-license and get him that a Ranji boom. That's non-existent now, which is really positive. You know, I wasn't really too keen on him bevying in the car because, you know, we'd spill it everywhere. So, yeah, he's doing all right. Going to see what we can... Um, get up to interview a few people up in Birmingham so what is the worst accent in the UK I think Liverpool's been up there hasn't it the Scouse accent and definitely you know Birmingham with the mushy pea shout so yeah it's just a little check in to let you know what we want to get up to. I'll go down and see him later. Have a little catch up and get him on the L-Tube. See where he's at. I haven't seen him for a few days. I've just come back from Durham. Done a, you know, convention up there. And I was asked to go up and speak to this... this crowd of people who, you know, just blew me away with what they had to say. The room was emotionally charged. It was a lot of people who were in recovery. They work in that field. They wanted to hear about my story and, you know, they played a little trailer of the movie. And within, within minutes of me being on the stage, I was broken. I couldn't speak. I had all these feelings, <laughs> like, just surfacing. And I was like, wow, what's going on here? You know, but it was great. It was like a healing process because it's authentic, it's real. And that's what we are. We're just showing our human side. None of this bollocks on YouTube where, you know, we're having beef with that one, beef with this one. You know, life's too short. We're blessed, aren't we, with a few short decades. Just let's just enjoy it. We've got our <laughs> problems at home. We don't need problems outside of our lives, especially on social media. You know, it's a bully. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching and take care.